All right, so let's take a look at the new draft unions performance mode uh, in Mesh Fusion. So the idea here is that um, we don't really need to have Fusion perform unions while we're working, while we're in sort of a work mode. Uh, the union does give us this nice strip geometry, but uh, for the sake of performance, we're willing to give that up. That's the general idea anyway. So um, since I have draft unions set now to the dynamic separation mode, you see it has three options, off, dynamic separation, and full separation. Dynamic separations means that uh, Mesh Fusion will figure out how to split the model into two parts, uh, one being the active part that you're editing and the other part being the sort of inactive part, things that aren't being affected by the edit. And it manages that split by not performing certain unions. And we can see this in action. So if I select this sphere here, we can see it's union formed strip there. But as soon as I start to move it, there will be a slight delay and then that union goes away. Now you notice the trims that are affecting this mesh are still in effect. Hide that source mesh just so we can see it more clearly. So that's all, you know, you're still getting your trims and you know, you're still really seeing your model, you just don't have strip geometry here. If I select another mesh, select this one over here, and let's see, just for fun, I will rotate it. Again, there was a slight delay there. Did you notice this strip that we had just seen go away in our previous edit is now back, whereas this strip, union strip connecting that mesh went away. But you notice also that everything is very smooth as far as, as, far as editing performance. And naturally, anytime we like, we can go back to regular fusion modeling by turning this graph unions option off. And at that point, all of our union strips are restored. And you can go ahead and proceed to model in that mode. Um, but the uh, other option is full separation. So as soon as I select this, unlike the dynamic separation mode, as soon as I select this, it's going to split the model into as many separate pieces as it can. So you notice a bunch of union strips went away there. And the advantage of this, especially with you know heavier, more complex models, is that you don't have that little delay when you start editing things. Everything is just ready to go as far as editing. You can just immediately click on anything and move it around and you're going to get the best possible uh, performance. So this is a really nice feature. It really comes in handy because before this, even when you had a very small mesh like this that is part of a complete fusion model, and that's the thing about this model, it's, it's fairly trivial, but um, it's not all that simple. There are, I think, 20 or 30 some source meshes, and they're all part of a single fusion. So in the past, if I was editing even this little simple mesh here, the whole fusion model was being reevaluated. Now when I'm doing it, the absolute minimum amount of work needed to uh, show us that fusion effect is being uh, performed, so we get really nice performance. So this is pretty much a simple one, uh, fusion item, graph unions, and your two different modes.